Hi, this is Belinda Warren of the Whole View of Nothing But. If you didn't tune in this week, this is what you missed. All right, all right. That was some Marvin Gaye old school. Heard it through the grapevine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you're just now tuning in, this is the whole view of nothing but with Belinda Warren, your host, my guest, comedian extraordinaire Brandon Johnson in the house. Ow, in the house. The crib. And that's right. <laughs> and, you know, I put that song on for you, Brandon, for a, for a specific purpose and meaning. I like that. Yeah, I know. He's sitting there going, oh, no, I get it. <laughs> this is a comedian that. You can never get anything up on. He's like, I get it now. That's you know. cool. That's cool, baby. It's cool, baby. It's all. It's I. Right. It's I. Right. It's I. Right. Right. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, um, I got. I had an opportunity to watch Brandon perform. One of the first things that I saw him talk about or heard him talk about. <laughs> you don't see someone. But when I <laughs> when I heard him talk about was uh, his Halloween costume, and I thought, what better way uh, to uh, get Brandon warmed up? than to ask him about that Halloween costume. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know why the grapevine has a meaning for you in a Halloween costume for the Halloween listeners out there today. Okay, well, uh, let me uh, illuminate your mind. Let me, uh, Ooh, let me, uh, let me, big let me, words. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Okay, well, first of all, that uh, song is like, that, you know, I dig that, I dig that. When she <laughs> played it, I was like, oh, okay, I understand. <laughs> I get it. Okay, well, check this out. All right, um, it was Halloween 1986. Uh, and I remember. All right, let's set, set the scene. 1986. Was it, it was 4:45 p.m. <laughs> Mash was about to go off. No. <laughs> Okay, got it. I'm there. Okay. Well, you know, uh, me being a uh, six-year-old trick-or-treater, um, I, it, being that it was the 80s, um, the California Raisins <laughs> were very popular in the 80s. And uh, I say, Mama, uh, I would like to be a California Raisin for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And being the resourceful, loving, caring, creative <laughs> mother that I have, she's like, um... You know what? You can be whatever you want to be. You want to be a raisin? You can be a raisin. So I said, cool, mama. Let's go to uh, to the store and get me a California raisin costume. My mama said, no. <laughs> I said, what? Really? She said, no. You go in the kitchen and get you a black garbage bag. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And you put it on, and I want you to get as much as newspaper as you can and ball it up and put a bunch of balls of newspaper in your cost in your little garbage bag there, and you will be a plump raisin. I'm like, what? I'm six. I'm like, oh, what, what, what's going on? Get it, mama. <laughs> so I put on this garbage bag, and I ball up a bunch of newspaper, put it in my little little bag, little outfit I had on. I went and got my mama's good stockings and put them on so I could have some Not black the legs. good stockings. <laughs> the good one. Well, I don't know if that was a good one. I don't know. She pulled them out like a, from up underneath the sink with that big bag of them. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so I get my mama's stockings on and she gave me some little white church gloves and stuff and I took my stepdad's little sunglasses. So I was a California raisin. A homemade California raisin. Very ingenuity. Yeah, and I'm like, you know, my mom was like, like super creative, resourceful. She uses her environment like Jackie Chan. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and uh, she takes me trick or treating that night. You know, me and my big sister go out with my mom, and we walking down the street, and I'm got my little California raisin mama made costume on, <laughs> and uh, I'm walking down the street, and people pointing and looking like, dang little dude, look at you, you cool, you like your costume, and I'm like moon walking and spinning, dun -dun 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 -dun. and I'm feeling my costume because my mama. <laughs> Made. You That's can't right. You can't tell me I ain't no raisin because my mama made me a raisin. <laughs> so I'm walking down the street, people pointing and whistling like, yeah, go ahead, little dude. We like your costume. We ain't never seen a garbage bag that cool before. <laughs> oh, no. Right. And I'm like, no, I'm not a garbage bag. I'm a raisin. <laughs> Please believe. <laughs> and they're like, you're not a raisin. You're a garbage bag. And I said, no, I'm not. They said, then why you got a yellow string hanging at the back of your <laughs> neck? Oh, no. And my mama didn't cut the little garbage bag little yellow string oh. Oh, i cried girl i oh, did oh i cried all night i sat on the stoop and i cried and i sat there until the sun came up and the garbage man picked me up <laughs> <laughs> it took me to the daggone 
trash mountain. See, now this this is why you see I love this guy. This is, if you're just tuning in, this is Brandon Johnson you're listening to in your ear, who is a well-known local comedian. Uh, this is 95.7 FM, the whole of you are nothing but, and I can tell you, he's hot. He's hot. I got this hoodie on, that's why it's hot. Well, I'm, I'm I mean, <laughs> I was talking in reference to your, your never mind. I know, baby, you're good, baby. I, I, I just, I'll talk that down. See, y'all know though Belinda is hot herself. Y'all don't even know. She got it going on like a light switch. I'll smile uh, and stuff no, over I don't. She had the happiest smile in the world. She made me, when she smiled, I smiled. It's like my cheekbones hurt right now. Y'all don't even know it. Oh, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm blushing and I'm on the radio. I'm so glad they can't see me right now. Oh, you, you, I'm telling y'all, y'all don't even know. She got like people passing now because she's so beautiful in here. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, right. That's no, seriously, a- she walked outside and the clouds parted and the sun came out. Like, uh-huh. Just in this little area. I was like, how you do that? <laughs> yeah, that it's magic. I can't tell. <laughs> oh, well, what's going on? I worked the phones. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> what's up, man? What's on your mind, Pimp Skillet? I was wondering how long you've been doing comedy. Uh, well, the, when the doctor slapped me on the butt, <laughs> the first thing out of my mouth was some type of punchline that I do not remember, and it all started then. And it was all clean version. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, shoot, 32 years. Actually, honestly, um, I started in the spring of 98. I got kicked out of high school. I didn't get kicked out of high school because I was bad or nothing. I just didn't do the work. I was too busy wow, making Brandon. people laugh. I mean, seriously, because I was a nerd in high school, but I was funny. <laughs> so instead of getting beat up, I would make people laugh. And uh, it was like, uh, do your work, Brandon. And I said, uh, no, I'm too busy trying to survive <laughs> so <laughs> i uh made people laugh in school and uh that over went the uh not over went that uh overshadowed my education on accident i'm sorry but uh funny was more i tried to tell my mom i was practicing for what i wanted to do right now and that's why i was being funny in school so um how well did that go over oh you know what actually pretty darn good <laughs> my ged makes for a great coaster <laughs> but i mean yeah uh, it was the spring of 98 and um i got kicked out of high school i went to mount healthy high school in cincinnati ohio and um when i got out of school my i was 18 and my big cousin was like dude you're funny you need to do something with yourself and uh she took me to a place called go bananas uh in cincinnati oh, and, uh, i love that place yeah it's good good spot good spot and uh they gave me my first uh little shot at comedy we say speak up so the so we can hear you hello did he hang up on us <gasps> he hung up on us what? hello oh no he did oh he hung up. See, well, that ain't That's even all cool. right. That's all right. That's you all can, right. You can. He ran out of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I you mean. ran out of minutes, man. I feel you. It's the end of the month. You get your minutes at midnight. I ain't mad. Oh, my you God. Got, you got one of them one phone. You got a track phone. I ain't mad. That's what it is. This is one of those phones. <laughs> That is too Ask funny. your mama for a couple of dollars so you can get you some minutes and call us right back. Call us right back, LaShawn. We, we, we were enjoying you. Now we're going to cap on you. Yeah. Right. Uh, I'm going to get... LaSoon. La- <laughs> that, be, be down, Sassoon. That, that, that is, oh, he has done. He oh, is, here he comes. Oh, he, he Domino's. <laughs> Domino's Pizza. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is WVQCLP Cincinnati. This is Belinda Warren speaking. <laughs> What's that? I can't hear you. Something from New Jack City. Who is this? Oh, floor shine. We got floor shine. Our, our floors are fine. All here. right, floor shine. You just hold on. All right, we got to get some music for our listeners, and I'll come back and I'll we don't talk need to our you. floor shine. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know about you, so <laughs> floor shine. So hold on, just a second. Hey, hey, hold on, floor shine. Don't go away. Who named the child floor shine? <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. We that's a that's a cap waiting to happen. All right, if you're just now tuning in, this is the whole view and nothing floor but with Belinda Ward. We are having some fun up in here with comedian Brandon Johnson, <laughs> extraordinaire comedian. I should might add at that. All right. I am going to get a little bit of music on. We're going to find out who Floor Shine is, and he may or may not be back on.